Hey, what's up? David here with After Effects, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be creating this light ray effect using After Effects, and you can see here we've got a lot of detail going here. We've got like these illuminated clouds, we've got the sky uh, just peeking out, and these light rays shining down. Now, before we begin, I just want to show you my initial design. And you can see it's like really bad and it's like not showing any detail like it's just a light ray just overlaid on top of the footage. And this just goes to show that the more research and the more you think about it, the better result you will have. So just, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Anyway, enough of that. So let's take a look at what we're going to be creating. Alrighty, so I hope you enjoy that. So let's get straight into it. So we're going to grab our footage and I'm going to drop this into a new comp here. I'm just going to bring this out here. And I'm just going to label this as uh, light ray. Maybe cloud light ray. Like that. And what we're going to do first is camera track our footage. So if we just double click the comp, uh, footage, sorry. And let's just go ahead and grab a new null object. And let's just go ahead and grab the window tracker controls. And we want to track motion. And I think I track this little contrasting area here. So the inner square is the track area, and then the outer square is the search area. Let me just put, leave that there. And once we're done, we can just hit analyze forward. Oh, and make sure your timeline is at the start. Okay, so once you've got your tracking data, now we can go ahead and edit the target. Set, make sure it's set to your null object and then hit apply. Okay, so you can see now we've got our tracking data and we can just go ahead and close this. And let's just label this as tracker. And let's just grab a new camera. And we hit okay, okay. Let's turn these to 3D layers and let's just pick with this to the tracker. So now, let's close this. We can see here that we get stabilized footage. Now we've come to a problem where this comp is coming out of our screen here. So we can just scale this up. So maybe about 104 and that'll cover the edges up quite nicely. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and create new two new adjustment layers. So control alt y, control alt y. And we'll label this one as dark cc and we'll label this as sky CC. All right, so first things first, let's add a curves adjustment and a tint effect on our dark adjustment layer. And what I want to do is I want to crush some of this white down and just darken it like that. And we'll apply the tint and then we'll drop that to about 50%. And then for our sky, I want to draw rough mask around the top here, hit F, maybe feather out maybe about 300 pixels, and just want to darken it even further, not too much though, and get rid of the color, so it's about 70%, maybe 60, like that. We get nice darkness covering up the sky. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and create our light, light ray. So let's make a new solid. We'll make a white solid and call this light ray. And just shut the eye off. Let's come over here. Let's draw some mask that light rays will shine through. So here's a big area and some of these areas as well. So I'm just gonna draw rough mask around this area so 
Let's do this quickly and yeah, time lapse time. All right, so once you have masked out your light ray sources, so we can go ahead and add a CC radial blur. Let's set this to fading zoom. And let's just turn on the eye and just fade this out. And I'm going to push it this way like that. Now we've come to a problem with our, our layer. So we can just add a solid composite and just make this black. Put on top here. And set this to screen. There we go. And let's just adjust this a bit. So I'm just going to maybe put it like that. And I'm just going to drop this a little bit to maybe about 70. And this about 90. Like that. And then we can add a curves adjustment and just boost that alpha and boost the RGB a bit like that and we can even add a little bit of a tint effect on top maybe about 80% okay cool okay so the next thing we have to do is create our sky here so I'm gonna drop in my sky footage here so I'm just going to drop this in here and I'm just going to scale this down like that and I'll just move it down there okay and I'll duplicate my light ray put it on top and I want what I want to do is just shot all these off and then we can set the track mat to alpha mat and check this out so you can see what we're trying to achieve here we're creating a mat so that our sky can only be revealed and we'll just make this a sky now let's just fill out some of these masks to about 30 pixels so it's nice and faded like that and with this light ray we can just delete these two effects and what we can do is just grab a curves adjustment onto our sky layer and just boost the maybe the RGB a bit and grab a tint and then just make that about 10% maybe 15 it's a good value like that okay cool and we'll just maybe just take away some red and some blue Like that. All right, that looks that looks good. Now we want what we're gonna do now is we want to add some detailed illuminated smokes onto our clouds here. So first things first is I've got this plain smoke footage, and I'm just gonna drop it in here. I'm just gonna tie and remap this. I'll leave a link for where you could download all these um, smoke elements, by the way, so don't worry about it. And we'll make this about uh, maybe 300. So that fits within our comp here. Set this to screen. And we'll place it underneath our light race. And we'll set this to about 30%. So it's a subtle. And I want to add this smoke sprite image like that and just set this to screen as well and what we're going to do is scale this down and try to match with our scene here and just try to manipulate these images so that it looks like actual clouds hanging around here so this may take a while, but uh, it will be worth it because it looks awesome. So, yeah, 
I'm just going to do this quickly so another time lapse time. Okay, so once you've got something like this, it's a bunch of. Uh, let me just solo all of this. So let's just solo all that. It's basically all these clouds just manipulated and just all together around the light rays. Okay, so once you've done that, let's just pre compose this. So Control Shift C, and we'll call this clouds. Okay. And we'll shut the eye off. And what we're going to do is create a solid, and we'll call this sun, and we'll just make this black. Hit OK. And let's put on top. Let's grab optical flares. You don't have to use op optical flares, by the way. You can just use whichever flare you want to use. Let's go into options. And I want to use the sun digital one. And we'll just make the color a little bit of a bluish color. Like that. Always a white. Hit OK. Hit OK. Set this to set this to add by the And it's looking blown out by the way. Let's add this set mat. And we'll choose the luminance channel. And let's set this to clouds so you can check this out so we're trying to create these illuminated clouds above our comp here and we can just even just like maybe turn up the brightness a bit like that and we can even move the light so that looks awesome I might just put it up here and you need to just add some detail to it as well. Okay, let's just shut this off for now. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and create like a hotspot for our light race. So let's go ahead and create a new, uh, duplicate our footage. And let's put it underneath our light race and call this spotlight. And we'll just shut the eye off. And what I'm going to do is just draw some mask around the area that the light's shining. So maybe one over here. Like that. And maybe one just up here. So we can duplicate the mask. Just bring it over here, like that. Maybe just one up here as well. Just bring it here. Maybe scale it down. Just rotate it like that. And hit F, feather them all out. Maybe about. 60 pixels and add our curves and just boost that RGB really bright so it looks like it's shining onto that area and we can even just like manipulate this one so that it looks like it's not perfect so like that And we just might even further this out even more. So maybe about 90 pixels. Like that. Cool. And we just might take away some red. Maybe add just a touch of blue. And just a touch of green. Like that. Let's add a unsharp mask and we'll just make this about 25 and radius 2. Like that. Okay. So if we just turn these back on, let's put this underneath our sky. 
All right, so let's just add two adjustment layers. Control Y, Control Y. Plate this on top. And we'll just label this as CC. And we'll label this as vignette. Okay, so let's start with the vignette at the curves. Bring that down. And just double click the mass. Subtract it F further it out, maybe about 500, oh, maybe not that much, oh, forgot the zero, 300 is a good value, and with now, maybe we just add like a little bit of a curve contrast here, and add an unsharp mask, Place down top. And then we'll add a glow effect. And then we'll bring this down. Just maybe just bring that up. I'll set this to A and B colors. Let's pick a warm, cool color. That and just bring this to 50%. Just illuminates that and we'll duplicate it and we'll just set this to about 80 like that. 